How's it going guys? It's Friday, January 12th and I got to do this week's freshwater video full of some real fun and cool stuff. Probably a little cichlid heavy this week, although there's going to definitely be some really cool stuff that is in cichlid that's going to be featured, including one fish that just might invoke a trip down memory lane for me. But let's get right into it. I'll play fair and not start us out on a cichlid, and instead start us out with another quirky little oddball I absolutely love, the elephant nose fish. These guys are just an interesting, active, wonderful little oddball, well known for that adorable little trunk of theirs, which is weird because again, I used to always think it was like a trunk, but it's actually on the bottom jaw, not the top jaw. Put that aside, still great fish, absolutely love And all right, starting us out for cichlids for the week, we have a whole handful of these awesome little baby gold severums. Gold severums are among the prettier of all the severum species. And the nice thing about severums is despite being large, beautiful cichlids, they aren't absolute terror like many other cichlids. They're actually really quite peaceful. And they're kind of an interesting shape too, not too different than like a discus. Really cool. Absolutely love these guys. Love to see it. Next up on the cichlid side of things, some absolutely beautiful green Texas cichlids. Really starting to kind of come into those gorgeous blues and greens now. Lots of amazing color on these guys. Absolutely love them. One of the few cichlids found in North America, which is really cool. And for once, it's actually native there. So, absolutely love them. Really cool. I know I showed off these zebra lublikins hats last week, but bear with me. They've been around for a week now, eating great and doing well, and now you can really start to see some of those amazing colors coming through. All those insane red flushes, beautiful neon blues, wonderful yellows. They all have such a nice variety. Wonderful color. Yeah, some of these guys are really starting to starting to pop off, looking beautiful. Love to see it. Next up in the category of neat cichlids, we have some of these really beautiful orange chromide cichlids. Definitely a, a more unique fish. They almost remind me more of like a saltwater pinfish than a cichlid. But as you can see in some of the examples here, especially the males, as they start to mature, they get a ton of color and a lot of interesting patterns. Really cool fish overall, and of course hanging out with them. Another very interesting cichlid, the buffalo head cichlids. Another one that's been recently featured, but I absolutely love, so I'm not going to complain about featuring again. Moving on down here, we have a bit of a triple hitter, starting with the multifaciatus shell dweller cichlids. Very cute little shell dwelling cichlids, absolutely love these guys. And in with them, we have beautiful ink fin black calvis cichlid and the gorgeous helianthus cichlid which is kind of closely related to the Bruchardi cichlids if you know those but in a nice beautiful golden color really awesome absolutely love it let's break away from cichlids for a moment here give a little reprieve from that and hang out with a whole bunch of beautiful little clown loaches really really awesome Especially cool, these are wild clown loaches, which don't come in very often anymore. Really, really awesome. That's just a certain figure, those wild clown loaches, that just really makes them such a solid fish. Absolutely love them. Really cool fish. Great all around. And staying away from cichlids for a few more minutes, we're going to come into these absolutely amazing looking koi or kohaku gatu. I've seen them called both names. But I can tell you for certain, is they are beautiful. The males have wonderful silvery bodies, bright orange fins, and a very bright rubby nose kind of face. The females, no slouches themselves, they keep a nice little orange nose and beautiful silvery tones. So yeah, we have males and females, which is really awesome. Absolutely beautiful guppy variety. And speaking of similar live bearers, these guys may look like guppies, but in truth, these are endlers, and more specifically, these are wild-type peacock, white peacock endlers, which are one of the prettier endlers, in my opinion. They have this, again, very bright silvery body with beautiful white flash accents. 
and of course, lovely neon orange. You can really see some of that flash on that little guy there. Cool as that. And yes, we have both males and females. Really, really awesome. And these guys are actually sold as pairs. They do really well like that. We'll move back into cichlids for a second here with these absolutely amazing Histogramma McMaster eyes. Specifically, these are the white redneck phase. Really, really beautiful histos. They'll get that gorgeous red flecking further and more expansive across the body as they mature, and the tail will turn a nice bright red as well. It's a really nice looking episto, and we both have males and females of. Alrighty, we'll jump back to cichlids one more time before I take you guys on a little trip down memory lane here. But before we go there, talk about these awesome little guys. We use some beautiful little Microgeophagus ramrezii, or as many people know them. The German Blue Ram, a beautiful small cichlid species that's very tolerant of preferably acidic water, but it's quite a tolerant species, easy to care for, ton of fun, and actually really quite peaceful. They can be kept with a lot of different things. I've even kept these guys with tetras. Really awesome. Absolutely love rams. Great for somebody who really wants to kind of get into South American cichlids, but isn't too particularly certain where to start. Great place to start. Love these guys. I can't tell you the amount or the sensible feeling of nostalgia I had coming in today to film and seeing that we had pygmy multi stripe logins. Which, stories, backstories aside, is a wonderful fish. These guys are excellent bottom feeders. They are small, they are very active, they are peaceful. And they're really good at what they do. They will keep your bottom really clean. And they do great in school. So all around, they are already an amazing fish. But little, I guess, aside fact is that long, long before I actually worked here at Exotic Aquatic, this was actually the first fish I ever bought from this store. It was a pygmy multi-stripe loach. And man, that was years ago. Oh, man, I at least like five or six years ago, maybe seven. It's been a long time. But I can tell you, when I was looking for something like this, and I couldn't find it anywhere, and then sure enough, I just walk into this store and see them in a beautiful setup, I knew that this was the kind of store I'd been looking for. A place I could find some really cool, neat, oddball stuff that I absolutely love. And well, you see where that's gotten me. <laughs> a house full of fish and a job filming them. <laughs> But, I don't know, it's just so cool to see it. Absolutely love it. I don't know. I might have to set up a tank just for these guys, just to have a couple of them at home. Because I haven't had one in a while. Absolutely love them. Super cool to see. And you thought we were done with cichlids? Absolutely not. Buckle up. Time to keep going through. We got a couple more to go through before we finally reach that last fish of the night. So, continuing on, we have the ever-beautiful Discus Fish. Absolutely love these guys. Tons of variety of colors and shapes in right now, or sizes, not shapes. They're all shaped like this, I promise. And accompanying them, we have a handful of some really beautiful koi angels. This guy's definitely a male. Look at that head. But yeah, tons of beautiful, beautiful koi angels. Oh, man, look how dark red that one is. That's a gorgeous one. I really like that. And lots of discus. Which, yes, by the way, are both cichlids. Really awesome. Of course, would it be a cichlid week if I didn't feature the ever-lovable Aratus? Such an absolutely beautiful fish. I love these guys through and through. One of my favorite cichlids out there. Although, ironically, the last fish of the week is actually one of like my all-time favorite cichlids and the first cichlid I ever owned. So it really is just a nostalgic week for me, but we'll get to that. But aside from them, beautiful Aratus, a couple of really nice hats, beautiful jeweled cichlids. Tons of variety. Another nice jewel there. Another nice hat there. And a few beautiful red ice top zebras. These guys are really pretty as they mature. Yeah, lots of nice stuff in the assorted African tank this week. One more stop before we hit our final tank, especially considering this is, again, kind of a memory lane video for me. Another one of the first fish I ever had. And camera could ever decide to focus. 
was one of these absolutely adorable little debuffers. I absolutely love that little guy. But yeah, don't have these guys in too, too often anymore, but super great every time we do because they sell out fast. Absolutely love them. Key puffers are wonderful. Tiny little puffer fish. You get all the charisma and joy that you would get at any other puffer in just such a much smaller, more peaceful package. Love these guys. And as you can tell, just looking here, they look beautiful in a planted tank. And finally, coming to our last tank here to hang out with a handful of some really cool cichlids, like lemon yellow lalupis, and beautiful Chalina chromis, as well as the Trophius du Bosai, one of my absolute favorites. But none of those fish that I have just mentioned are the one I'm really here to talk about. As we travel along down the line here, that would be this dapper gentleman. The gorgeous electric blue Haplochromis. Really gonna give me the runaround, isn't he? Absolutely beautiful fish. It's no surprise to anyone. I absolutely love Haplochromis. Especially, specifically, the Friar Eye. Friar Eye. I'm not 100% sure how to say it, but that's what this guy is. Most people just call him the electric blue Haplochromis. This young male will soon mature into an absolutely stunning fish. I know I'm not on the fish I'm talking about, but I just couldn't help but want to show off these two both sides schooling together like that. Because it's really putting forth the idea I have that these guys are like the tanks of freshwater. Really like them. But yeah, back to our friend over here. Ironically, I will also say that one of the first cichlids I ever remember owning, at least for myself, was an electric blue fryer eye. So it's just kind of a nice place to end the week. Another trip down memory lane, especially for someone like me who loves cichlids. See one of the first cichlids I've ever owned back in front of me. Really cool. Absolutely love these guys. And I'm telling you, they are a stunning fish. Just electric cobalt seal blue, which is a bright white dorsal fish. An absolutely amazing fish, and you can already see the beginnings of that here. Our friend here is already getting that kind of electric blue face with that white fin up top. Really cool. Absolutely love it. Here's some more Dubose Ice. Alrighty, that's it for this week's video. I don't think I can handle any more nostalgia. I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> I just need to relax. But also, like, the video was getting a bit long, and there are still so many cool fish that came in this week that I never even got to. I'd say definitely come in and check them out. Some really cool stuff that came around. Really great way to kick off the new year. But until next time, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and any of our local customers looking for anything cool or interesting, like the beautiful Trophius du Bosai, feel free to email us at contactexoticquatic.com. Love to see if we can get in for you. Until next time.